Hey guys, it's me Elena. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to this delightful journey into the world of dolls. Today I have something truly adorable and unique to share with you. Just look at this charming little doll dressed in a lovely mint color. So whether you're a doll collector, a fan of cute fashion like Lolita fashion, or just someone who appreciates all things sweet and charming, I'm sure this unboxing will leave you with a smile on your face. She is packed in a closed cardboard box same as all the latest releases of the Sugar Cubs dolls series. Her box reminds me of a picnic blanket with a mint plate pattern. On the front there is a full high portrait of the doll. She is standing on the sunny road and in the background we can recognize a house made of cookies. Different pastries are actually scattered all around the box. Here is the logo of the series, Sugar Cups, and on the right corner is the Asian International logo. On the bottom we see the name of the doll Biscuitina. It's not the first Biscuitina on my channel. It's impossible to resist this cute face. This release on her is called Peppermint Time, which explains the minty color scheme of the doll. It is also noted that this doll was created in collaboration with Japanese seamstress yeah. Sleep. She created an outfit for this little pretzel chan. On one of the sides of the box there is another photo of always happy Biscuitina, and on the other side is her art prototype. Type. I see an uncanny resemblance. On the back, next to the little doll's photo, is a little story and description of her outfit. She is planning to have a peppermint tea party in the Sugar Cups Wonderland. Apparently, this house we saw is her biscuit house. Here is also set details and manufacturer information. As always, these dolls are for people 15 years and up, and her price was 17,000 yen on the release date. The doll's hair is a beautiful combination of white and mint with the mint color mostly visible underneath. It's a captivating contrast that adds a touch of uniqueness to her overall appearance. The hair has a wavy texture, giving it a soft and natural look. Starting from the front, the doll's hair features bangs that gracefully frame her face, adding a playful and joyful element to her look. The bangs have little parting on the side. There is also little braids on each side of the doll's head. This braids start near the temples and gently weave down incorporating strands of both white and mean hair. They come together at the back of the doll's head and are secured with a transparent hairband. The head underneath is painted in mint color. The skin tone of the doll is white, which is the most recent skin color Aizen started to use for Sugar Cups dolls. The vivid blue color of the eyes is reminiscent of a clear summer sky, adding a touch of magic and vibrancy to the doll's appearance. They are bright and captivating, sparkling with a subtle shimmer. What makes these eyes even more enchanting are the little hearts nested within them. The hint of mint in the eyelashes beautifully complement the mint colored elements of the doll's overall appearance. Doll has a gentle blush on her cheeks and a shy little smile. If you are thrilled about dolls as I am, make sure to hit this subscribe button right now. By subscribing you will never miss out on the latest doll themed videos. And hey, if you are a fan of friends, so drop a pretzel yeah. emoji in the comments. And as if the cuteness factor couldn't get any higher, Aya doll is sporting the most adorable hair accessory. Just take a look at this straw hat inspired piece with a mint ribbon. It's the perfect complement to the doll's mint colored ensemble, adding a touch of charm and a hint of summer vibes. The straw texture gives it a delightful rustic feel, while the mint ribbon adds a pop of a color that ties everything together beautifully. The fastener is a teeny metallic hair clip. The doll's pretzel shaped back is a unique accessory. It is made from faux leather and looks very stylish. The back features a pretzel shape capturing the playful essence of the doll's overall theme. A little handle is attached to the back, allowing for easy carrying it by the doll. The handle is secured to the back with golden metallic rings. On the front of the bag there is a pearl beads located along the top of the pretzel. To keep the contents secure, the back closed with a white 
teeny zipper that is fully functional. This zipper ensures that the doll's belongings are safely stored inside the bag. Upon opening the bag, the interior reveals a clean and crisp white lining. With the doll, we has always got standard set of additional hand gestures. They add more versatility and allow for a wide range of expressions and interactions, which is very useful in doll photography. The doll's wide white false color is a stunning accessory that adds a touch of elegance. The edges of the color are adorned with the delicate frills. At the front of the collar there is a sparkling crystal shining brilliantly and catching the light with its radiance. To complete the look, long white ribbons cascade from the crystal. To fasten the collar behind the doll's neck there is a metallic hook. The doll's apron is a delightful piece made from a mint and white checkered fabric, creating a charming and fresh look. At the front of the apron there is a four golden beads. A bow adorns the waist on the front, bringing a lovely focal point to the apron. The straps of the apron features delicate laces. These laces give the apron a soft and romantic touch, enhancing its overall aesthetic. The skirt of the apron has frills that add texture and depth to the overall appearance. Along the edges of the frills, Delicate laces create a graceful border. At the back of the apron there is a big double bow. The apron can be fastened on the back with a metallic hook. Let's dive into the main piece details. The sleeves of the dress are made from a delicate tulle fabric, giving them a light and airy feel. For the cuffs used mint colored fabric. The top part of the dress is crafted from white stretchy fabric. The dress features lace with the four pearl beads sewn onto it, carefully placed as decorative accents. Accompanying the pearl beads there is a mint bow adding a pop of color and playful element to the dress. The color of the dress is also adorned with tulle fabric matching the sleeves. The skirt part of the dress is practically good enough to eat. Yes, you heard that right, it's a pretzel themed skirt adorned with mouth-watering pretzels and pastries. The outfit creator Sleep often does awesome prints on fabrics for doll dresses she makes. The skirt's color is mint and the edge has white laces. The dress is fastened behind with white velcro. The doll's pannier is made from a white tulle fabric with dots. At the waist of the pannier is located a white bow adorned with a pearl bead. The edge of the pannier has frills that are adding volume. The pannier fastens at the back with a white velcro. Underwear is made of semi-transparent fabric. There is also a mint colored bow on the front. Whether the doll is out for a walk, attending a tea party or simply showcasing her adorable outfit, this white knee socks with printed pastries are the perfect accessory to add a dash of charm and sweetness to her appearance. The shoes have a classic shape with a round toe and a flat heel featuring a rich brown color. They are made of faux leather and have a white plastic sole. The sole as always has an Aiden logo and right and left marks. At the front of each shoe there is a cute brown bow that adds a touch of charm to the design. With the doll we got a standard set of papers. Here is the doll specific card which looks like a postcard. On the front there is a big photo of Biscuitina. She is waving to us and on the back we can see her little delicious house. On the back is detailed set content with every piece illustrated on it. On the bottom is a link and QR code which leads to the A's and Dolls maintenance guide. Second is a folded illustrated guide of how to dress up the doll, in what order to put all the set elements on. Often it can be very helpful. It is very very colorful and consists of all the little things you might need to know, especially if you are new to these dolls. On the back is the instructions about possible doll's eyes, which are 8mm size and how to change them. We also got the usual black and white booklet about Pico Nemo, pea body and head. It covers everything you might need to know about its structure. What other food items or themes would you like to see in doll designs? I really enjoyed this little mint pretzel today. Thank you for watching. Love dolls and kong kong.